Mmm. Love me some hot, dark roast coffee. <laughs> Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your December Christmas love and romance messages. So um, I haven't laid any cards out. I wanted to shuffle while I spoke with you. So let's see what the cards have for you. Card for Leo, please. I was about to say Aries for some reason. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries, Leo. I don't know. You're your own fire energy though, right? All eyes on Leo. That's what I'm hearing. All eyes on Leo. I have been hearing that for quite some time too. I don't know, Leo. There's something going on where everybody's paying attention to you lately, or they're. It's kind of like they remember everything you say. You could be taking on a lead role too. Maybe you have to be the one in charge. You know what I mean? In regards to love and romance. They like it when a little Leo is in, in charge and they're a little rough, huh? <laughs> Woo, someone looks good naked. All right, let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Wow. Interesting. First card that came out. Wow. Okay, so first of all, we'll, we'll start with the very soon. We have very soon. What's happening very soon? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we have this could be the one. If you are soul searching or whatever, even if you're not, there is going to be a new love coming in very soon. And it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this could be someone you already know. Or maybe you feel like you've known them in your past life or whatever the case may be. It's kind of like you have that connection with with them and it's like very soon it's going to be happening very soon it could be this month it could be next year it could be I can't believe I'm already saying that next year that's crazy um but you know time is an illusion and and these messages are they could resonate whenever it does for your, your situation so definitely spirit is telling you what is it that you want well, you better decide quickly because there's something coming in and this person could be the one to just rock your boat. You know, maybe you're the one that likes to take charge or whatever. You like people to be in that position where they're like, maybe you need to take the role of leadership. And um, this person comes in and they just fucking turn your whole world upside down. And you're just like, baby, you can do whatever you want with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, let's see, Leo, get a little cuddly, little Christmas and chill under the fireplace, right? Coffee in bed, unless you're a tea type of person. I don't know, opposites attract, I'm just saying. You might be a coffee person, they might be a tea person or a hot cocoa person, you know what I mean? But it's all about communication. Some of you will be communicating uh, or have been in communication with someone, maybe from your past, saying, hey, I'm coming for the holidays and blah, 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 would like to see you. Or maybe you've been, you know, communication is really, really big for you. And it has been. And this person that you're meeting or talking to is all about communication. And, and, and you're liking that. So that's good. All right. So let's... Uh, Pull a card from the fortune reading cards for Leo. Leo. We have flowers. It says be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. What? Something is going to be blossoming and glowing and growing like a flower maybe they were going to water your flower if you know what i mean mm -hmm. maybe planting a little seed of your own okay mm -hmm. christmas present just saying <sighs> success and emotional fulfillment are yours that's exactly what i'm hearing anyways let's uh let's pull some sexual cards shall we Leo, let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo. 
Well, we have the fool. This is your chance to start over. Clean slate, the reset button. Taking a leap of faith with that person that could be the one, right? What? Leo, what's up? What's up? Uh-oh, we have a flipper. We have a flipper. <gasps> This is why I probably said, I almost said Aries because this is the card of Aries. It's the Queen of Fire. It could represent you, obviously, but what is going on? Bound chicka wow wow. Careful, the kids might walk in on you in the background. You know, you're going to meet someone who is going to be the one and they just turn you on in every way, shape, and form. And the thought of them, you know, makes you want to touch yourself. Whatever the case may be, I'm just saying. It's like they are going to literally press the reset button when it comes to love and romance for you. That's why I was saying and I was channeling like, okay, you can do whatever you want and take the role. You could be my mama Adetta, okay? <laughs> like, you do it. <laughs> I will take a leap of any faith for you, boo. That's what I'm hearing for some of my Leos when it comes to this situation that you're going to be dealing with. And they could be another fire sign like you because, oh my God, I just, I just noticed the fool is actually the sign of Aries. And the bottom here in the corner, you could see that's the, also the sign of Aries with the queen of fire. So maybe you have Aries in your chart or you could be dealing with another fire. You know, fire on fire is very explosive, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Leo. <laughs> I'm just tickling your balls. I'm just tickling your balls. All right, let's see. Or you might be tickling somebody's balls. I'm just saying. Okay, I'll shut up. All right, we have a flipper. Wow, we have judgment with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So, someone took their sweet time, sweet, sweet time to communicate how they feel or will be. Or maybe it took a long time for you to realize what you wanted. This person brings out the freaking you, is what I'm seeing here. Little Rob, let me bring out the freaking you. Uh, let me bring out the freaking you. Remix? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so with the judgment call here, this is could be something that was divinely orchestrated, you know, guided where it's time for you to wake up. This is like a wake up call. Like, damn, this person wakes up, wakes you up, or your sexual side just gets. It brings you alive you know what I mean and with the uh, the knight of Pentacles reverse it's like they they don't want to rush into it they want to take their sweet ass time you know there's no rush and that's good that that's fine with you right so damn Leo prepare yourself baby because you are going to be fire fire all right let's get a lover's oracle here I get too excited. Anybody gets too excited for Leo? Give me a card. Oh, that 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 came out. I gotta take it. What do you know? We have the trust card. Trust, baby, trust. Transformation. Let me turn this down because it might be a little too loud. Sorry. It says transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will add a automatically transform are you going to accept the fact that this person is taking over your heart and your soul and every cell of your body is on fire because they're gonna awaken another side of you you didn't even knew because it's been asleep this whole goddamn time and nobody was able to come close to awakening the beast <gasps> beauty and the beast the beast awakens that might be your title beauty and the beast interesting all right well let's get a, a a card let's use my angel answers here <laughs> i was gonna say something else but i stopped myself that's why i stuttered but maybe this person is going to have you like not being able to speak correctly mm -hmm. leo you nasty nasty little you we have per perfect timing you see that it's all in divine timing divine timing is perfect timing and this person who's coming in very soon okay is they could be the one you see how all these cards just link up perfectly together why because it's perfect timing baby 
perfect timing. It's the perfect time to set, to press the reset button, just to start over. Maybe it's for the New Year's, maybe it's for this month, maybe it's for whenever the fuck it is, when it's the timing is right, because obviously it's now. But you have to, you have to trust, have faith. Communication is key, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Communication is huge for you. Huge. So, um, let's see. Okay, we already pulled one of those, one of those. We did not. Yes, we did. Oh, I was going to use one more sexual deck for you. Let's see. Leo, so we can wrap it up. What's the last message for Leo? Wow. We have the eight. I'm going to pull two before I start yapping my mouth. I always seem to go out on a tangent. Okay. Woo, shit. All right. So the first card that came out is the eight of pentacles you're going to be meeting someone who's going to be putting in the work as much as you you're going to want to put in the work and as i said that i looked at the clock and it was 11 11 see divinely guided this is someone who has been maybe trying for quite some time with you or maybe who's been watching you put in the work and this is like equal give and take in bed too because if you see here they're both they're both being pleased you see that? You please me, I please you. I got you, you got me. And you're both going at it and you're great. So this is past energy. This is the five of pentacles reverse. So you're no, lo no longer going to be single. No longer going to be single. Because this person is going to sweep you up. Okay? And they're going to be just the one for you. And when is that going to happen? Very soon. So remember to be to have faith and always trust. Okay, Leo, this was your December Christmas love and uh, romance messages. Give it a thumbs up. Please, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in your next video. Bye-bye.